We are here once again nice. at the 2012 International Music Conference. Mm -hmm. First day here, we are at the DJ's Battle. Yeah. Tomorrow night, we will be at the birthday party first and foremost. <laughs> <laughs> but then we'll also be right back here. Yeah. And we're going to party with some new artists. And then last but not least, yeah. on Saturday, mm -hmm. they also have Melia Hotel. They have a panel Ooh. that is going to teach right. people the business of music and entertainment on an international level. You might want to show up. I'm saying this could be this could change your career. You know what I Absolutely. mean? Absolutely. So definitely make it a point to get out here. They rubbing elbows. Everybody's mixing together. I'm telling you. This is where you ought to be. The International Music Conference here at 595 North in Atlanta, Georgia. This is AC and Reggie Love of ATL Radio signing out. What up, baby? Your boy, B. Stro, Hot 1079. They call me the voice in the street. AC and Reggie Love, what it do? ATL Live, we here. We get this money. We on the radio. Tuesday night, 8 to 9. Is that right? Yeah, it is, man. Your boy, B. Stro. I'm going to be there. Make sure you be there. I'm going to be there. I got get one more. Hold on. Can someone please? Entertainment Group. I am officially on the awards patrol for the ATL's Hottest Entertainment Awards coming this fall. Definitely check it out. What's Reggie, up, ATL? Reggie. This is your boy, Reggie Kason, a.k.a. Reggie Love with the ATL Show, sitting with my main man, DJ Bistro Hot 107.9. What's going on? What's good, fam? What's good, baby? How you feeling? Ah, uh, man, doing great. We are here at the International Music Conference. Lots of music internationally, lots of artists representing DJs. What advice would you give to an artist who is trying to make it in this industry? An artist or yeah. a DJ? DJ, artist, whomever. Uh, the first thing I would give advice, and um, I, I, I witnessed this tonight, is to study your craft, be about your craft, know where it comes from, know, know where it started, know where it's going, and combine the both, and just be true to yourself, really. True indeed, and that's coming from the world-renowned DJ Bistro of Hot 107.9. What you got going on, bro? I know you you all over the place doing everything. I know you got ATL jumping off. So what's going on in the ATL and across the world? Man, just getting it popping, man. Doing these clubs, um, opera nightclub, mansion, world famous Velvet Room Sunday nights. Y'all know Primal Fridays. Uh, you can catch me on the air, two to six. Uh, I'm writing columns in magazines. I'm traveling and just trying to get that check, man. Yeah, that's what's up. He getting it, he getting it, you get it too. ATL show, we holler back right at you. My man DJ Bistro, 
Hot 107.9. What you doing? This is AC with the ATL radio program, powered by Love 860 WAC. And we are providing coverage tonight at the inaugural opening night of the 2012 International Music Conference right here in Atlanta, Georgia, hosted by 595 North. It's telling you it's a good look. So stay tuned. Check out some star-studded interviews. We got AC with the ATL radio program, representing at the 2011 International Music Conference. Standing here with Mr. MT, direct from Mali, Africa. How's it going? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Oh, hey. We hanging in there. Glad to have you here. Tell us what you got going on. Uh, actually, uh, I'm working on my mixtape right now, uh, Coming to America. And um, I have, uh, I, uh, that's what I don't know. And I'm looking for a DJ to actually host it. Okay. Here, that can help me with that. It'd be great. Well, you definitely in the right place. I'm telling you, what do most people know you for? Which song? Um, right now I have a single called I'm the Hottest Shit. Uh, you can catch it on Twitter, YouTube. My Twitter is uh, M at uh, Marvelin Boy. Marvelin Boy. We'll go ahead and scroll that across the bottom of the screen. No doubt about it. I'm so glad you're here. You're meeting some good people, beautiful crowd. That's, that's, uh, definitely, man. A lot of people. I've been networking all night. I was at the private party yesterday. It was great. I love it. Nice. But we'll definitely see your name and stars, I'm sure. All the way from Mali, Africa, this is MT. And again, this is AC with the ATL radio program representing the Element webcast. Take care now. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here with the world famous DJ Tron of Old School Saturdays. What's up, Tron? Everything is good, man. Everything is good. What's up to my man, Reggie? You've been doing this for a long time. I appreciate the love, man. Trani Blaze, Urban Legends, DJs. All over the world. Yes, We're indeed. We're sitting here at the International Music Conference 2012. What's going on with music nowadays, man? I know it's changing, but we have a global focus in the music arena. What's happening with that? I mean, I like, I like it, man, because, you know, Atlanta's like the epicenter of, you know, hip-hop right now, so it's going in a good direction. You know, diversity, you know, technology's taking a different direction, so it's great to have events like this, especially here in Atlanta, to bring everybody's, you know, attention to Atlanta and to, you know, worldwide music. Yes, indeed. And last but not least, talk about Old School Saturdays, man. When does that occur? Uh, this is actually, the next one's this Saturday, you know what I'm saying? But to get to Old School Saturday, to get to the dates, go to oldschoolsaturday.com. Check me out, djtron.com uh, on the web, uh, at DJ Tron D. Blaze on Twitter. I'll let you know all the updates, man. But, you know, this Old School Saturdays is blowing up, man. It's getting bigger and bigger every single month without fail. And we have one New Year's Eve 2012 as well. So check us out. What's up, ATL right, my Show? Man. We are here with my man, Hotel of Hustler University. What's going on, man? Hustle University. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm big brother. Hi. Right. Yes, That's what's up. Yes, Tell us about Hustle University and what's that about and what you do with Hustle University. Hustle U, the first ever HBCU for entrepreneurs. People ask me all the time if Hustle U is a real school. I say, of course it is. Hustle U, come through and get your PhD. You don't know what that is, right? Yeah. Your professional hustlers do. PhD, that's right. Hustleuniversity.org. If you can't find a way, make your way. If you can't find your way, make your way. Hustleuniversity.org. How'd y'all come up with that, man? Obviously, you're a hustler, and you get on your grind, and you do what you do. What is hustling all about, and how, how can one become one? Well, Hustle University was built off the principles known as the Hustlers 10 Commandments, which is the title of my first book, The Hustlers 10. Um, myself, my background is in the entertainment industry, music, film, and then eventually building my, my publishing company. Um, what had happened is I had developed a reputation for being an individual that could make his own way independent of corporations, independent of the industry. And um, I had done this consistently in a way that people were inquiring about what I was doing. So the greatest lesson I learned is that people liked what I was doing. More importantly, they were interested in learning how I did it. So I created the Hustlers Ten Commandments as a way to help explain that. Um, so when you, when you hear the expression, if you can't find a way, make a way, that's my own life story. Because when I started the music industry, I reached out to the labels. Nobody gave me a record. And I reached out to the to the um, to Hollywood and tried to put out my first film. I wanted a film to do. Nobody gave me a film. When I wrote my first book, I went to the publishers. I asked the publishers, "Can I? Would you give me a publishing deal?" Nobody gave me nothing. So I could have done it. And I could have done what most people do. I could have given up. I could have tried to rob and steal. Or I decided. Or I could have made my own way. I decided to make my own way. I decided to make my own way. Man, 
man, that's what's up. Hotep speaking knowledge right now. Hustle University, go check them out today. The beauty of America, you can always start your own business. It doesn't take but an idea and, and some juice to get you going. Some Heard it from the man, ATL Show, continue to tune in. What's up, ATL? It's your boy Reggie Love and AC here at the ATL International Show. Music Conference. My man, man, my main man, Nate Walker is in the building. Nate, what's going on, bro? Hello, what up, man? I'm good. How you? Doing great, man. What you think about the conference so far? Hey, it's, it's wonderful, yo. I, w I really didn't expect to, you know, witness the kind of talent that I'm, I'm being privy to witness right now. It's mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent talent out here. Yes, indeed. Speaking of excellent talent and being gifted, tell the world. Who you are, what you do. I mean, uh, I'm, you know, nobody special, man. What don't you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, yeah, I do music. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what I do. And, uh, you know, a few things y'all might have heard. I just done, um, we just finished up the Far East Movement album, uh, Dirty Bass, where I, I uh, co-wrote, you know, the majority of the album. And uh, we also, I, I did Say I for Trey Songs. also Blame It on the Alcohol for Jamie. Nice. We, uh, you know, we had Timberland's first single featuring Dev, Break It Back, you know, for Shock Value 3. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff on the way, too, so don't, you know, just keep just keep tuning in. Like, it's just the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and how did you get your start? Like, how did I get my start? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, God, you know what I'm saying? Oh, That's wow. Yeah, do, yeah, right? yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, definitely, I, I made a decision to move to Atlanta with the purpose of at least giving myself six months to try music. And if it didn't work, at least I wouldn't you know, have it on my heart the rest of my life of like, what if I would have went hard, you know what I'm saying, and tried music. So, you know what I'm saying, I used to live in Indiana and I was working at a clothing store and stuff. And I just, you know, I decided, you know, they, they, they offered me a better position where I would have to like make a, basically like a, a bigger commitment, you know what I'm saying? So I, I had a choice of either taking that job or, you know, pursuing my dream. And, you know, if it didn't work out, just get another job, you know what I'm saying? So. That's what I did, man. That's uh, what's up. That's what that's it is. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, once again, Nate Walker, check him out. Nice. Hey, how can people check out your work, man? Yo, you can hit me up on Twitter, at Nate Walker, N-A-T-E-W-A-L-K-A. -A -A, or uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, too. I normally don't tell nobody my Instagram, but, you know, <laughs> it's that exclusive right here. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, Instagram is uh, Sky underscore Nizzy, N-I-Z-Z-Y. That's so what it S -K -Y is. S-K-Y underscore Nizzy. Yeah. Ah, the exclusive. Again, yeah. this is AC and Reggie Love with the ATL radio program. And this is the Element Webcast, again, powered by WAEC Love 860. Again, Nate Walker. That's what's up. Salud. All right. All right. All right. Oh. 